Hi everyone, what you see in front of you is the most affordable NAS kit on the market today and it is the Zima Blade 7700 NAS kit. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what are all these components, how to assemble them and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So let's start first by showing you what are all these components. So these are all the components that you get with your NAS kit. I'm gonna start with the main component which is the Zima Blade 7700 server. So this component here comes in this box and you also get with it, if you buy it separately, not with the kit, you get these two cables with it. This is USB-C to USB-C cable and this is a SATA cable that has power and that has SATA also. The specifications of this Zima Blade server is that it has an Intel Celeron 2.4 GHz processor and also it has internal storage that is 32 GB. You can install in it a SODIMM DDR3 RAM. It has here as extension PCIe2 that is 4X and it has on the side here USB-C port, USB 3.0 port, 1 gigabits per second Ethernet port and the mini display port. And on the other side it has two SATA ports and this is power for the SATA. Now also internally it has two USB 2.0 ports. So let me show you the other components now of the kit. So when you purchase the kit you'll get this SODIMM DDR3 16 gigabytes RAM. I'm gonna install it, show you how to install it in the server. You get also this mini display port to HDMI so that you can connect the server to a monitor. And by the way, the server has a capacity display of 4K 60 Hz. And you have also this SATA cable. This SATA cable will permit you to connect two hard drives to the Zima Blade server. And you'll get this USB-C power adapter that comes with some universal heads. I installed the North American one already. And you have this disk bay, so you install the 3.5 inch disks here and the Zima Blade server will go on the top like this. Now in my video I'll be installing these two 3.5 inch hard drives in the Zima Blade server. So let me now install the RAM in the Zima Blade server and install all the kit and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's start by installing the RAM in the Zima Blade. You need to remove this plastic cover, it is easily removed. Just pull it here from one side. It can be removed like this very easily. Now you have two screws that you need to remove. You need like a small Phillips head screwdriver. When you remove the screws, the plastic cover will pop up like this from here. And then you can slide it out. And this is where the RAM goes. So it has a key, it cannot go wrong. So the shorter side will go here. You slide it here like this and then you push it down and it should click in place. And now the RAM is installed. So let's install back the cover. The next step is to install the drives in the disk bay here. So the drives, they slide in the disk bay like this. Make sure to put the drives connections from one side. It doesn't matter if it is left or right. So here I'm gonna put them on the right side so that you can connect them afterwards. And you see here on the side, you can put also screws to secure the drives. I'm gonna put one screw for each drive. Of course, in the production, put more than one screw if you wanna secure your drives. But here for the purpose of this video, one screw is enough. And while I am securing the drives, I wanted to tell you that Zima reached out to me to test the Zima blade, but everything you see in this video and my opinion on the Zima blade is only mine. No one reviewed this video before I posted it and I wasn't compensated to make it. And if you want to check out this Zima Blade NAS kit, I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage, but this is at no cost to you and this will support my channel. So now the drives are secured. The next step is to connect the cables to the drives. So here you see these drives. This is where the SATA cable should connect. And also for the SATA cable, it has a key, so it cannot go wrong. So make sure that to put the key where it should go here. And here are the two drives now connected. And we need to connect these ends now to the Zima blade. So let me put it like this. And let's put the Zima blade on top like that. 
and let's connect everything to it. And this is the data for the SATA. So you can put it here. And by the way, the SATA is SATA 3, 6 gigabits per second. And let's connect the other one here. And this is the power and it also has the key and the key should be on top. And this is a power connected. It's a bit tricky. So be patient when you connect it. And now the next thing I want to do is that I'm going to connect the mini display port. So it connects from this side here like this. And here it is connected. So now I can here connect my monitor on the HDMI port or my video capture card. And now I'm going to be connecting the USB-C power and the USB-C power goes here. So here it is connected. So now I connected the monitor to the Zima blade and I'm going to connect this keyboard and mouse combo that is wireless with this dongle to the Zima blade so that I can control it. So I'm going to plug the dongle of the keyboard and mouse in the USB port of the Zima blade. And the last connection I'm going to make is that I'm going to connect the Zima blade to my router with an ethernet cable. So plug the ethernet cable in the RJ45 port. And now let's turn on the Zima blade. I'm gonna zoom in on the screen so for you to see better. So here it is starting. And for the first login, the username is KazaOS and the password is also KazaOS. And here it is starting. As you saw, the password is very easy to guess. So it's better to change it. To change it, key in password and then put the current password, which is Casa OS, and here put a new strong password and confirm it. And now the password changed successfully. After the Zima blade starts, you need to go to a web browser and then put in the address bar casaos.local to start setting it up. Now you need to wait at least 10 minutes for it to work and to register on the network. If it doesn't work, there's a way to get the IP of the Zima blade and I'm gonna show you how to get the IP. So here I connected the Zima blade to my capture card to show you the screen. So you need to key in this command IP space A and then hit enter and you'll find your IP address between these IP addresses. So here it is here. This is the IP address. But here I waited for it 10 minutes and it's gonna work with the casaos.local web address. So I'm gonna switch to my web browser and I'm gonna key in casaos.local and hit enter and here's the casaos splash screen I'm gonna maximize it and here click on go and you need to create a user and a password for the first time so here I'm gonna create a user kst and the password I'm gonna put a very strong password and confirm the password and then click on create and now it will create your user and this is the home screen of Casa OS. And it recognized directly the hard drives that I connect to it. So I connected a Western Digital 1 terabyte drive and I connected a Samsung 160 gigabytes drive. What I want to show you now is the basic management of the storage. So for you to create a shared folder and to access it from your Windows PC or from any other PC or computer on your network. So you see here we have these two drives as I said before. And I inserted a USB drive. When you insert a USB drive in the Zima blade, it will be mounted automatically. So to see all of this, you click on files. When you go first to files, it will show you the internal storage of the Zima blade. If you want to see the mounted storage, and in this case, it is USB drive, you click on it on the left here, and then you see all the folders in it. So now I want to show you how you can mount the storage of the two drives that we connected to the Zima blade. So to do this, we need to go back to the main menu. So I'm going to click on the X here. And then here you need to click on storage manager and it will show you the mounted storage. So in the mounted storage here, click on create storage. And now you can choose the drive that you want to use to create the new storage. So here we are mounting the drive. I'm going to perform this on my Samsung drive. It is the same also for the other drive. So select the drive that you want to mount it as storage. And then here you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name it Samsung so that I don't be lost in the storage names. And then here click on create. Do not click on format and create unless you are sure that you want to delete everything on the drive. So here this drive already has data so I don't want to delete them. I'm going to click on create simply. And it's going to mount it. And now it is mounted. Let's close this. And now you can see it when you click on files here. 
you should see it here on the left it takes a little bit of time so for it to mount let me refresh it so let's click on files so i refreshed it and here it is on the left so if you click on it now you see all the files that were already on the drive because we didn't format it i want to show you now how to create a folder and share it so that you can access it from your network and copy files to it and use it as an S drive so right click here on any empty space on the right and then choose a new folder and here let's name it backup and then you have this checkbox it's important to share it so that you can access the folder from the network so i'm gonna check it and then i'm gonna click on submit and now the folder is created and we can access it from the network i'm gonna show you how to access it so i'm gonna open file explorer in windows and in file explorer click in the address bar and then key in backslash backslash casa os dot local and hit enter and here are all the shared folders that are on this nas server and i created some shared folders before to test it so this is a folder that we are interested in and this is the one that we just created so either you can access it via its url now just by double clicking on it and then you can copy files to it or you can also map a network drive to it so to map a network drive right click on it like this here and then choose map network drive and here it shows the z drive which is good and reconnect at sign in so each time you restart your windows pc it will reconnect and then click on finish and now you have the drive connected and you can see it under this pc here so this is the drive here and you can copy files to it like you want to so for instance if i take this file here and i drag it it will copy it to the drive that is on the nas now there are many other functionalities on this nas kit from zima blade so for instance it has its own applications and you can install like a cloud also server on it and the media server if you want me to cover any of these functionalities let me know in the comment section and i'll be happy to make videos about them i hope that my video was useful to you in case it was please share it subscribe to my channel and give my video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it i'm eloy from knowledge sharing tech i want to thank you all for watching and see you on the next video